Hi, I'm Siraj from Envispero Technologies. Today I'll demonstrate a new feature of SharePoint 2013 beta called JSLing. As you know, by default, data in a SharePoint list is always displayed in, uh, as rows and columns. Now let's say instead of rows and columns, I need to display and format my data something like this. Then how do you do it? In all previous version of SharePoint, uh, like SharePoint 2003, 2007, and 2010, either you need to write a custom web part or customize the underlying accessibility of, of, of a view. In both cases, it was time consuming and a tedious process. Uh, with SharePoint 2013, you can leverage your favorite scripting language like JavaScript to define your custom view. Now, let's see how you can define a custom formatting of rows and columns of a list using JavaScript. I'll open a SharePoint designer and connect to my default SharePoint site. Meanwhile, I'll open, uh, uh, have opened a Visual Studio. I'll add a new project. A SharePoint empty project. I'll deploy the solution as a farm solution. Once the project is added, I'll add a new item. Call list and the name as the wonders of the world. Leave the name as default and click on finish. Once the list is added, we'll add a couple of uh, fields. One is wiki link, wonder picture, wonder description. latitude. In my next video, I'll demonstrate something cool on these two uh, fields, latitude and longitude. For now, save the project, open the feature file, and add all the project item to the feature for activation and deployment. Save the project. Now open schema.xml. Here you can see that list wizard has added few codes and two default view. One with a view ID as zero and the second one with a view ID as one. Now I'll add a new section to this view with a base view ID as two and the name as nothing but a grid and I'll add a display name, the wonders of the world, the URL, which is nothing but an ASPX page, and then you need to add a view fields. When we added a list, we added a couple of columns. The first was title. Next was wiki link. The other one was wonder picture, wonder description, latitude, longitude. Okay. The last thing that I'll add here is, is my custom JavaScript file. In this JavaScript file, I have defined the custom formatting of rows and columns for this particular list. The first part of the URL is a site, which is nothing but uh, which represent a SharePoint site. The next is site asset, which is a folder within that site. JS is again a folder within site assets. And finally, you have a JS file. Let's see what is there in this JS file. This JS file has a couple of functions. As soon as the page is loaded, this function is invoked where I'm setting a view base view ID as two, which I have defined in my uh, new, uh, uh, which, I have, which I have defined here. The, the second, uh, the third line define, I have defined a list template type, which is thousand. You can find the list template type from here, type. And then I have defined a template, a template for header, which is nothing but a dynamic HTML with certain CSS and styling. The next is I have defined item. Item is nothing but a, a, a custom formatting for every row. Here I, I'm pointing to a function, which is custom item. And in this function, 
I'm doing doing nothing but I'm I'm trying to um, do a custom formatting for every row using dynamic HTML and and style sheets. Okay. Then I'll define a dummy data for the for this list with information of all wonders of the world in element.xml. I need to go to the list instance and I'll copy this dummy data which has information about all wonders of the world, the title, description and a picture. Finally, I have to copy all the JS and image files to the uh, to a SharePoint site using SharePoint Designer. So here I have JS file, wonders of the world and I have images, all images for the wonders. I'll copy both this uh, folder, go to SharePoint Designer, navigate to site assets. right click and paste. Once the file is copied to the SharePoint designer, the last step is to uh, rebuild and deploy your project. So I'll go here, I'll right click and say deploy. Okay, once the project is rebuilt and deployed, you need to navigate to the site to view a custom list. The list wonders of the world. And wow, you have your custom list with formatted rows and columns. Please mark uh, Google Plus and Facebook likes if you like the video and encourage me to submit many more features of SharePoint 2013 beta. Thank you. Thank you very much.